I think we got enough cash. Let's put some money away. Let's put some money in some upgrades. Um, bonuses, uh, cash boost, increase all cash received by 5%. Because you get the cash, every, you get a, a cash reserve. Well, every few minutes. And you earn it by completing activities, stuff like that. Abilities, stamina increase. Very important if you want to keep running. Uh, let's bump it into health. Health, pedestrian, carnage. Uh, pedestrians can drop health pickups when they die. No. Health pickup value. No. Uh, health. Increase player's health. Yes. And that's about all we can really invest right now. Let's see what we got in the quest. Explore the tower. That's right down Assessing the street. you a tower, I'd like you to climb. I'd like to track some data on your jump ability for my personal records. You can charge the jump as you... Yeah! Okay, the clusters are gonna annoy me. Because I forget, we gotta... I gotta collect these things, too. You pretty much... It's all... It's a lot like Crackdown. The more of these you collect early on, the more powerful you can become. Because you don't earn them from the standard level up, you earn them through this. Well, I'm about to collect a bunch of them because of the tower. So the best way of doing it really is collect them when you see them. Try and do them in the direction you're going, if you can. And I would say the sprint is the one that you should focus on the most. I'm gonna collect that one just because it's there. Oh, yeah! Alright, let's start climbing this tower. Towers pretty much give you bonus points, and I think they unlock certain sections. But you need... Oh, shit. I forget. You know what, let's... I collected like six of these. Let's see if we can put some more boost to the power. Super jump. Uh, glide distance, air dash... Uh, jump height, cost of 10. You know, I think I could find three more very easily. It's early on, so they shouldn't be too far away. I think I just saw one on that roof. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the controls are so hard. Just when you start off, it's tricky, because... Once you figure them out, it's not so bad. Okay, I just need one more. One more, and I should be able to fly up that tower. Sometimes they're on the roofs. There it is. You also get this glide ability, which comes in handy later on. Increase height on charge jump. So I should be able to jump pretty high now. Yeah, check that out. You get some major height now. Oh, I'm an idiot. I could just jump there. Oh well. Now I know. You just follow the data clusters, they tell you where to go. For the most part. Whoa, you can clear some distance. Woohoo! This tower is meant to be done pretty quick early on, so. Yeah, let's see. And these these warp points are in case you fall. Because you will fall off the tower pretty early on if, you, if you're not used to the powers. Alright. Oh, yeah! Like me, just now. Come on, come on, come on, I need an air hike up. There we go. It's very easy to fall.
or to over underestimate a jump height or overestimate it like that. You can overshoot the whole building, especially later on when you get really powerful. Let's invest the, these other points, super sprint, uh, reduce, reduction, wall running, I don't get till level 6, air dash, gain a boost of speed in midair by pressing left button, I need that because I keep on playing from that ability. Oh, jump glide, okay. So if I can get 15 of these things, I can actually unlock the jump glide. Yeah, that's how the jump oh, dash yeah! works. And a jump chain, you can get that by holding it down and just popping. Yeah. I remember some of these controls it's been a while though. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, I remember the top being a lot closer. Yeah! Ten. See, they're good to get you across points like that. Ah, there we go. See? So for climbing this damn thing, you gain a bunch of bonus points. Put those away now into the jump. We'll get the jump glide. You can hold off on getting it, but I like the jump glide. The jump glide's cool. And we can't afford nothing else. Damn, that's tough. Go to fraud start. And in bonuses, what do we get? Uh, skill scavenger. Twice as much cash is dropped by deleted simulations. Uh, cash for XP. Convert cash 4,000. And help that. I think there was one I wanted to get in health as well. Yeah, so aside from the pedestrian, I got all the ones I can get right now. that's how you glide. You just hold down the left button. You can also do an air hike. Oh, you can't. Gliding's a good way of traveling, though. You get some pretty good speed. Yeah, but you climb these towers to... Pretty much you just climb the towers to get bonus nodes. I'm not going to bother trying to get all these cluster nodes, um, I might do it off camera. Oh right, it runs off of your, I forget, it runs off of your stamina too, so the glide ability is limited. The jump however is not, so you can kind of just time your jumps just right, pull like an incredible hulk sort of thing. little bit of speed. <laughs> the next one will be fun though. The, the insurance fraud. I love insurance fraud. These have been around since since Saints are 1 and they're always funny. But with superpowers you can take it to a whole new level. Instead of getting hit by a car, you're going to get hit by a car. You're going to be flying at like 90 miles an hour straight into the car. And then they're yeah. going to send you flying even further. I'm going to reduce the stamina cost. And some of them take powers to unlock, so that's why you can't really do them all. New upgrade. Uh, jump high 2. Fuck that. 
reduce damage. Sprint. Take less damage when super sprinting. <laughs> I didn't realize you took it. Increase the speed. You have to sort of go pretty quick to build up the speed. It takes a little while to do it. Alright, so insurance fraud. Like I said, with superpowers, it gets, <laughs> it's more fun. Like, you could easily break. You can easily break the minimum pretty quickly. <laughs> Look at that, 52,000, it just increases the longer you're in midair. So when you smack something, boom, boom. <laughs> The adrenaline lets you stay in the air a lot longer. The fun comes from when you're just flying in midair. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm pretty... Risky at it, but... What I like is in, you know, ah, oh, you couldn't hit me. So is, uh, in Get Out of Hell, you're actually taking years off of someone's eternal suffering. Let's try doing a high jump. Ragdoll. Landings so are awful. If you get. Boom. Actually, there's a freeway back there. I should just jump to the freeway. <laughs> it's the cartwheels. It's the breaking lamp. It's just too damn fun. I'm going one way. Forget the pickle. This my heart. That's why I don't go on the freeway. Now I remember. Distance record. Yeah, you can get a lot of points for doing that. Now that's the bronze. Let's go for the gold. I gotta stop this. Hitting cards give you way more points. I'm just not raking in that. There we go. A nice bumper smack. The more cars you hit, the more bonus points. Come on. Oh, trash trucks. Oh, trash trucks. Trash trucks can send you airborne. There we go. Now I'm getting the bonus. Five thousand. Worst boss coming up. Six thousand. Thirteen. And if you can keep the combo going, oh, a million. I'm not pulling off a million. Got you now. I mean, unless you can keep the combo going indefinitely. Still bloody hurts. I thought she said this. Yeah. Keeping the adrenaline mode. Active though, it gives you bonus. I think it doubles or triples up the bonus. <laughs> I love All right, so we got 3.5 bonus cash. Not bad. And but yeah, the end. Imagine doing this with better superpowers. I mean, if you max out your superpowers, you can do this even better. Objective complete, simulated fraud. What was the last one? 
Oh, what? go to Tank Mayhem. Tank Mayhem's like right around the... So, you know how you like blowing things up? Well, I found you a tank already and waiting for you to go to town with. That way you can see just how much the simulation can take. There we go. That car went flying. Fences? How about one more? This is why you get fences. Because they're just worth double or even triple the damage. Pedestrians, I mean, just. If, you, if there's a fence, fry it. You want friends. You want friendships. You want fences. You want fences. You want cars. You want anything. You want anything that has a circle around it too? But the, the idea is to keep your combo going indefinitely. I don't like this tank. And if you can keep the combo meter up, you also don't lose your bone. You won't lose the bonuses. But you also keep your time indefinitely. So try and keep your time right. Jeez, fuck. Got him not over there. Source. Yeah, see, as long as I can keep the combo meter going, nah, I guess not. They must have gotten rid of that, because it was like that in Saints Row 3. So that's the tank mayhem. There's also superpower mayhem, and I think weapon mayhem is also in this one. I don't know. Vehicle hover tank, you now have the alien hover tank available when you go over. That's the other cool thing is, you unlock vehicles. Through doing activities like the, now you can use that tank whenever you want so it's all pretty fun uh, quest complete simulated in right, what do we got next up on the docket learn the rules <laughs> 